Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, May 6, 2021. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our online training, and also our courses. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the Great British Pound and the US dollar, and as you can see, well, nothing really has happened today. We fell towards the 20 exponential and found support there, rallied, but still we're down 0.06% at this current stage. We're just above the middle of the bullish band. Technical indicators today are fairly mixed at this point. MACD is flat. The RSI is bearish. CCI is flat and the stochastic is bullish. So they're technically, technically all over the place. So we have a upper resistance line here we have to break through in order to go higher and if you do that we most likely will go and retest these previous highs break down from here we'll most likely find the major support down at the 100 moving average at 1382. so let's look at the us dollar and japanese yen and the same thing goes for the us dollar japanese yen nothing really has happened today so zero, we're down 0 0.05 at this current stage we are finding major we're finding support at the 50 moving average if you look at technical indicators they are also fairly mixed macd is bullish the rsi is bullish the cci is still in bullish territory and the stochastic is significantly bearish at this point it looks like we are going to turn around at least head towards the middle of the bullish band which is down here at 108, 679. That is what it looks like here at the bullish band, but we could also turn around. It is, we need to break the 50 moving average in order to go to, to those levels. If we break the 40 exponential, we could head towards these previous low, lows at 107. We also have a upper resistance line here that we have to break through in order to go higher if we get a green candlestick above here then we could go and retest these previous highs at 110. so let's look at the euro us dollar and as you can see we're down 0 0.2 to 20 percent and we're finding support at the 40 exponential moving average down at the 12005 at this current age so if we look at technical indicators they are all very bearish at this point we have broken the middle of the bullish band and are most likely going to head towards the bottom of the bullish band and that is right at the 50 moving average where we should find quite a lot of support so this is roughly at 11.93 and uh, considering how bearish these um, these technical indicators are at this point it is fairly likely that we'll go towards that point rallies from here will most likely find uh, resistance at 150 at 12.04 so let's look at our aussie us dollar and as you can see we did fall all the way down toward the 50 moving average and then we rallied we're up 0 0.10 percent today if you look at technical indicators they are also fairly mixed uh, the macd is bearish the rsi is bearish cci is fairly flat and the stochastic is bullish at this point we're just at the middle of the bullinger band we did fall towards the bottom and we found support there so Yes, it looks like we are about to go back towards the previous highs. However, technical indicators are fairly mixed at this current stage. If we manage to take out this level here, give or take 0 0.7078, then we are most likely going towards 0 0.80 and probably also 0 0.90. Break below the 150 opens the door to the 200 at 0 0.75 and the two and 300 moving average at 0 0.73 so let's look at the us dollar canadian dollar and same thing goes for the us dollar canadian dollar nothing really has happened today we're down 0 0.03 and if you look at technical indicators they are all very very bearish however we are oversold at this point and we are basically at the bottom of the bullinger band so a pullback towards the or a rally towards the middle of the bullish band that could be expected if we draw from here then we could head all the way down towards the bottom of this range where we'll most likely bounce as that is where we'll find significant support so hope you find this helpful you're welcome to support the channel by subscribing hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos and you're welcome to join us over at patreon the link is down below good luck and thank you very much